Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Oh, yes. We bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Something more than I got something more than gold. More than gold, more than gold. Jesus is more than gold. Abba, Gabba, Dabra, Bada, Gadas. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Lord. I know Twali in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is amen. the day the Lord, the has, Lord made. has made. We will rejoice and be glad and in be it. Glad in it. Father, we want to exalt you. Oh, yes. Lord. You are a faithful God. Oh, Today is the faithful. 31st of March, Glory 2022. Glory to Jesus. Marking the end of the month of March. Yes. God, you have been too faithful. Too faithful, From the Lord. first day of March till this day, you have glorified your name. You have Hallelujah. kept us. You have watched over us. You have provided for us. You have been available for us. You Glory. Have been, you have just been everything we desire rolled everything. up in one. Everything. Hallelujah. You are God all the time. God always. God all grace. God all All blessings. by yourself. God all by yourself. Glory. And we give you praise. With a Glory. heart of gratitude, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, I'm Reverend Jed, and of course, we meet my beloved wife, Pastor Joy. Hallelujah. It's, it's activating power prayers. prayers. Heavens download for earthly, earthly dominion. dominion. Putting into you what heaven wants you to express on the earth. Every Hallelujah. other day. Every other day, yes, every other day. Praise, praise God. God. We have been looking at maintaining spiritual momentum. momentum. Hallelujah. This, this past few days, and I believe that today and tomorrow we'll be able to round it up by the grace of God. So, Pastor Jay, let's have our scriptures this morning. Yes. We are reading First Peter chapter 4. Mm. We are reading verse 19. Mm. Praise mm. the Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. It says, Wherefore, mm. let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing mm. as unto a faithful creator. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we, we've been looking at several mm. things. We've seen how if the spirit mm. is, is empowering your momentum, your momentum cannot reduce. It, it, your zeal will not die mm. if you are powered by the spirit. I've seen a lot of things, but today I, I want to look at the, the place of hope. The place of hope when you you see the the the, the future of what god has in stuff you know scripture says in jeremiah 29 verse 11 i know the thoughts that i have towards you thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end if you have the picture the hope if your hope is alive as regards what pro, what god's promises are from his word what god has encounters you have had the 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 the, the place of of your you and your god it gives you essence. It, it, it powers you on. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, you, you see that at the point where Moses was living, because he had had an encounter at the burning bush, he was too certain that God would show up. And for one day, God didn't fail. I oh. pray for you that God will not fail you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. God will not fail you. Amen. God has Amen. never Amen. failed. I'm just saying that to encourage you, to mm. speak to your heart. I'm not saying that to tell you what God will do. God is constant. God has never failed, will never fail. And he doesn't plan to fail. Not today, not tomorrow. Never, never. It's only Hallelujah. men that shift their it's position. It's only men that, yes, that shift their and position. And make themselves unavailable to receive yes, God's faithfulness. Yes, and receive unavoidable me that's tears. Hallelujah. Oh, we saw the story of Abraham. Abraham left in hope. But at a point, the hope died. Let me be sincere with you. Whenever hope dies, hazards begin. Aye. The loss of hope and the entertainment of the, the wisdom or the counsel of Sarah at that time for him to go into, his, into her maid, Hagar, bettered the hazard. In fact, some of the greatest hazards 
that generations untold have seen, generations past have seen, generation present is suffering from, and generation perpetually will experience. Because of one single stroke of hopelessness, at the point where God has promised, if the momentum of the faith had been oh. kept, if that, that promise had been before them, oh God, and they had consistently put it before them, encouraged themselves with the word of God, empowered their faith with the word of God, kept their hope alive with the word of God, with the oh. promise of God, oh. with the assurance that God says, he, 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 in fact, I will lead you. I will lead you. If they had been able to just put it in their heart that where he leads me, I will follow. If they have put it in their thoughts that I God, no matter what, I, 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 I will just wait on you. I will wait on you because you are the almighty God. One songwriter says that I will wait on you, almighty God. If you would just he have that been, hope he, he, in his word, if you have hope in his name, yes. if you have hope in his capability, his capacity, his person, his love, his, his, his plans, you hold on to that it will do you a whole a world of good oh. in the name of jesus so pastor Amen. joy your praise work this morning let's hear from you hallelujah mm, 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 mm. my god we my give god, god praise today is the last day thank you jesus in the month of march ah, that's the yeah, first yeah. of march is upon us glory to you and jesus. tomorrow we we'll step into another brand new month mm. that's the month of april, april. so we are rounding up this month and we are still handling the topic maintaining spiritual momentum. momentum you know we are looking at hope and we are knowing very clearly from the scriptures i want to read it again we are for let them that suffer according to the will of god mm. commit the keeping of their souls mm. to him in well-doing mm. as unto a faithful creator mm. something is very remarkable here him we are committing to mm. There is a hope that is in our hearts. He said, let them that suffer according to the will of God. Mm. Let us understand that those who are submitted to the will of God also have some portion of suffer to suffer. Mm. That because you are in the will of God doesn't mean that you will not meet some suffering. We are looking at the life of Joseph. And we are seeing how in the midst of the will of God for him, that young man was submitted to waiting in hope. Mm. <clears throat> Genesis chapter 40 told mm. us very clearly. Yeah. I want to read verse 8. The Bible says, And they said unto him, mm. We have dreamed a dream, and there is no interpreter of it. And Joseph said unto them, Do not interpretations belong to God? Tell me them, I pray you. This was a man limited in his situation, mm. hoping that one day, mm. the same God, who is seeing his faithfulness in interpreting other people's dream, will one day interpret his own dream. Hallelujah. That is hope. Mm. When we submit ourselves into the will of God, God didn't promise us that we will not have any seasons of suffering. You may call it enduring circumstances that will not just change hmm. because you are in the will of God. I thank God that even when God promises you something, you're going to hit some hard places yeah. that, you, that your faith may be tried. Yeah. Some people are hitting some hard places in their marriages. Hmm. And they're wondering, Lord, I thought this is your will. Yes, it's the will of God. The will of God doesn't mean that you will not meet challenges. Mm. <laughs> I remember when we newly got married and issues would come up like this. I'm like, oh God, what is this? And I talked to my husband that you always remember. He said, I've never been a husband before. <laughs> I've never married before. You know, <laughs> I'm like, excuse me, what is this? We married according to the will of God. God yeah. said, that's your husband. And when he came, I didn't know him. I was like, I, I, I've no, I don't know you. Maybe there should be something like a relationship or something, you know. Let's know. He said, the Lord said that I should marry you. You're my wife. And I'm like, you don't know me. But he told me, God knows you. Mm. In the midst of that being the will of God, we encounter some challenges that we are like, oh God, what is happening here? Yet, 
God said there are those that will have to suffer according to the will of God. Mm. And I look back at those days and I say, Lord, I thank you because it has not only made us better, it has made us a reference point. It has made us, you know, there is something that was happening from the inception of our marriage. People just want to be like, ah, I just want to get married. Every people, these people always together, always like this. There is something yeah. about the, the beauty of God fusing us into oneness. Mm -hmm. It has not been easy. But the will of God does not exempt you from suffering. Mm -hmm. But realize that in the midst of it, there is a hope mm -hmm. which is God promised that God has said. Mm -hmm. I believe that when Joseph was in that prison interpreting dreams, he was, you don't know where it's going to come from. Mm. But he knew that he must come out from there. Mm. And he was trying to find his own way. Please tell Pharaoh there's a guy in the prison here who, mm. who didn't do anything. He can interpret dreams. So Pharaoh, you can bring him out and wait. Anytime you have your dream, you can call him. You can do something. I don't know what he was really thinking. Yeah. Just tell me. Tell Pharaoh about me. I, I didn't do nothing, but I found myself here. Yet, we saw that he submitted himself to the will of God. Mm. Submitting yourself to the will of God. In the midst of the confusing circumstances, let not the devil lie to you. In the will of God, there are places you may need to suffer. Mm. You may need to endure. As we have said, there are differences between the suffering the devil brings, the pro oppression, the problems the devil can stir up, which mm. will quench. Yes. But the ones God brings. You know, there is no amount of prayer Joseph could have prayed that, have, that could have brought Joseph out of that prison. It was a suffering that is according to the will of God to mm. shape him, mm. to refine him. I can tell you that if Joseph had not gone through the sufferings he went through, he would not be stable enough in that position he was given. There are some of us, we, our position that is due to us, we are not assessing it. Why? Because we are not submitting ourselves to the will of God in the suffering. So it's for you to maintain that spiritual momentum and stability that God is requiring. You have to recognize this suffering, submit yourself to it. It will build you up. It will give you an inheritance among the saints of God. And mm. then you are able to climb up. Mm. You know, after all that Joseph went through, he tried his brothers. After their father died, they came. the brothers came to him and they were telling him, Oh, our father said, I don't know, maybe they were lying because I don't, I'm not sure their father did that. He said, your father, when he was alive, he said, you should please forgive your brother's transgression against you because they saw their father is dead and Joseph may just mm. turn and begin to deal with them. Yeah, be ruthless. Because they are, yes. But you know what? Because he has gone through that suffering, he was able to accommodate the people he was supposed to minister to. There are some of us, because of the people, to what people have cost us, we are still paying. You remember them and say, mm, what this person did to me. You have to trust God for you to undergo that pain of that suffering so that to be these people, are, you are supposed to minister to them. But if you don't understand and allow the process of the, of the fruits of that suffering, Jesus' own yielded obedience. The mm. Bible said he learned obedience by the things he suffered. suffered. Suffering teaches us a whole lot and it makes us stable. Joseph endured the suffering mm. and he was compassionate enough to bear with his young his brothers. Mm. He was able to accommodate them, took care of the people that caused him pain. That is the fruit of our suffering. If you are still within the confines of remembering the pain, yes, we may not forget the pain, but it's no longer there. You remember those things, but what comes out of you is compassion. He told them, I will nourish you. I will nourish your younger ones. Mm. Some people are praying. These people that did this to me, their children will suffer. They will not see good. Oh, the man is dead. Even the children, they, they have not learned what they are supposed to learn through the suffering and this is the reason why the, the positions God has for the people are still vacant and the people, imagine if the post in the, the position of Joseph is vacant, the whole world would have suffered it there was famine and the man that's supposed to be the, the stability of that time was not healed could not learn what he was supposed to learn in the suffering there are so many positions that we have been called to occupy, but because we are not learning what we are supposed to learn, the Bible says he submitted himself to the will of God mm -hmm. and he learned obedience. And the Bible is admonishing us 
that let all that suffer according to the will of God. I pray God that this first Peter chapter 4 verse 19 will be manifest in our life so that we can commit the keeping of our soul to him. We have already said it throughout this week that the keeping of our soul, our soul is that part of us that needs to be renewed, that needs to be transformed. We keep our soul to him in well-doing, anticipating that he's making us better, looking at him and saying, Father, look at Joseph. Joseph became better. He became better. Yes. He, he used to be a guy that can talk and talk. He tell his father, see what these my brothers are doing. But do you know what? Even when he found himself where God had blessed him, he took time. Mm -hmm. I was thinking he would rush and send messages, send email, you know, send some messengers, you know, to his quickly, father. Quickly, quickly, quickly to his father. You know what? Go at, at least, go and tell his father. Don't let anybody know. Just call Joseph and tell him that Joseph is alive. Oh, do you know what? I was sold, but now I am gaining my ground. I will send you to... No. He remained and waited. Mm. Joseph became transformed. You know, I believe that one of the questions the father will ask him, Joseph, you mean... You mean that you 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 were you were you were in Egypt, you were alive, you have been a king for two years now. It was two years into the fair mind before he met his father. He remained for those twenty-four months and never though he loved his father, he never went. He has been stabilized through the sufferings. And let me tell you, if there are still traces of hatred, traces of the pain of what people have caused you still showing in your life, you really need to cry out for God to help you, mm. to maintain your spiritual momentum. If not, you still be fluctuating. You should not advance in age without advancing into the purposes that God has for you. And, wisdom. and if you are lacking this knowledge and wisdom, you know what? There is something the Lord told Pakenet Hagen of blessed memory. He said, in the 17th, after 16 years of his ministry, he said, you are about to enter the first stage of your mm. ministry. He said, why? He said, there are some of my people that grew old on oh, earth and God. died without entering the first stage. These people mm. are growing in age and they are not growing into the purposes of God. You know what? You can pray and say, Father, let the sufferings and the things I've endured bring me to the place of learning mm. that I learn obedience. Mm. It is very important for mm. us to learn it. Tomorrow is the last day of looking at this and mm. we are trusting God that the fruits of things that God have laid in our heart to share in this activating power prayers will be a blessing to every one of, of us. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Amen. You, you know, you, Pastor, Jesus. while you were saying mm. that, I just got mm. um, a, a light that to, to consistently keep hope alive, mm. you must maintain well doing. Oh. You must maintain well doing. Oh. Hope, I, I said this before, the moment hope dies, hazard comes alive. Wow. The moment hope dies, has that wow. look, when people even in, in, in waiting for a spouse, the moment you choose to throw away your hope that mm. God has a person for you, you end up or the person end up marrying somebody who will become a will become a hazardous husband. Yeah, 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 the yeah. moment you choose to make a way for yourself yeah, while yeah, yeah, telling yeah, yourself yeah, yeah, that yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. So the, the antidote for hopelessness mm. is well doing. Please oh. put the word of In God, well the doing. instructions of God. So that's the instructions of God. Put it before you. It will lead you into well doing. Yes. And as long as you are doing well in the sight of God, your hope is still alive. Yes. You know, Job said, All the appointed days of my years will I wait. wait. Now, he, he waited in hope. He hoped against hope. Mm -hmm. He hoped against hope. Now, God forgave Abraham, but the consequences could not be erased. That somebody will say, yes, Abraham made, but God forgave. God forgave him, but the, the period of hopelessness, the hazardous effect could not be wiped results. away. The resultant effect. Lingers. So it lingered till today. It is still lingering. The people, what they have, where they have left hope mm. and taken on to their own decisions or their own churches has brought hazards that they have not been able to eliminate. Child, it's been like that. It's been like that. I can tell you from experience. I've seen it. I've seen it verbal. I've, I'm sorry. I've seen it live happening. So we, we keep your hope alive in well doing. In well, well doing. doing. Doing what the word of God says. Doing what the spirit of God says. Doing what you know that the counsel of God. Doing what it is that will keep your conscience. Exercising your conscience. Daring. Doing what is right. But we are going to pray, Lord. Because there are people who may have lost hope this morning and have their momentum has dried up. But we want to pray. 
first of all, to keep hope alive is to look at Jesus. The Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the it author and, and the finisher, finisher of our, of our faith. faith. The moment your eyes are on him, mm -hmm. it will help your world do it. Yes. You see, you, you wouldn't have to look at anybody because men have their vices, men have their failures, men have their shortcomings, but Jesus never fails. So you may have been, you may have been looking at a man and the vices of the man had made you throw away the advices he gave you. But you can choose to, <laughs> to choose to follow God. What, look unto Jesus. But that is only when you have accepted his lordship. Then you can see him as the light of the world. You can see him as the director of your path. You can see him as the way, the truth, and the life. And walk in that truth. And do, and do well to maintain your hope and keep hope alive. When you are following Jesus, your hope cannot die. I yes. can assure you of that. Your a walk with Jesus does not, leave, does not take you out of the path of hope. It doesn't bring you to hopelessness. So this morning I want to lead you in the place of prayer. And then we'll pray for whatever it is that the enemy may have brought in as a hazardous and, and situation or season that it be terminated. And then we'll begin to experience hope come alive. We begin to reap the joy of hope and the products of hope and begin to keep our momentum alive as we walk this journey, mm -hmm. knowing that it is not a hundred meter dash, ah. but a marathon for life, so that the end we shall hear, well done, Hallelujah. that good and faithful servant. Hallelujah. Up adventure you meet with the Lord, you will be received with joy, knowing that you have your reward, and you have good reward for your labor. Let's mm -hmm. pray if you are out there and you have not accepted Jesus. It's very clear. Say with us, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I know that I'm a sinner. I know that I'm a sinner. I come to you today. I come to you today. I ask that every covenant. I ask that every covenant. Every iniquity. Every iniquity. Every guilt. Every guilt. Everything. Everything. That is of the enemy. That is of the enemy. That is holding on to my that destiny. That is holding on to my destiny. By the power in the, the blood of Jesus. They have broken off my life. Jesus. They have broken off my life. I accept you. I accept perpetually. you. Perpetually. As my Lord. As my Lord. Personal Savior. And personal Give me the grace. Savior. Give me the grace. For you, for you the remaining days of my, life. Days of my life. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you, Father. We pray Thank that the Lord Father. bless you. But we want to pray, Father, anything that is the product of hopelessness, hazardous living, Jesus. all the plan, all the intents of the enemy that has flooded my destiny, Jesus. every path that is bringing me to destruction, Jesus. whatever it is that the enemy wants to lay hold, whatever is, is, has ruptured my, my momentum and oh, is making Jesus. me seep out zeal. I'm losing strength. I'm losing focus. I'm losing vision. Whatever oh. it is that the enemy is holding on to that wants to use to manhandle, to strangulate my future, oh, my Lord. vision, my marriage, my business, wherever I've lost, whatever I've dropped and the enemy has taken and is using it against me, whatever I've, wherever I've gone into, whatever, Father, let your mercy pull me out today. In the I'm name of Jesus, and pray. Father, Lord, In the name of Jesus, Amen. we are going to ask that, Lord, I ask for grace for a daily walk with you. Amen. You know, you can ask God for something and he said, ask and you shall receive. Father, I ask for grace to consistently, continually have a walk with you. Hallelujah. Have a walk with you that will bring Hallelujah. me to the greatness. Keep me in the vision. Ba, Keep ba, ba. me in the, ba, ba, in the provision. Ba, ba. Keep me in the wisdom. Keep me on the path of life. Mm. Keep me on the consistent increase spiritually, mentally, psychologically, financially. Father, a grace to work with you daily. Can we pray? And the Father, Jesus, I receive Father, the impartation, receive impartation of your grace to consistently work with you. Not being worried, not being weakened in the name of Jesus, not falling by the wayside, not Falling into sin consistent, in not walking in, in the wisdom of men, but oh, Father, Lord. living and powered by your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. You Lord. will never have a better yesterday. Amen. What was 
not walking before, I hear the Lord say to begin to walk. Amen. Every path that you have walked out, that walked out every way that everything that's carried you out of the path of life, you are returning today. And what you miss, I see a restoration. Amen. Back in the name of Jesus. Amen. Restored back. Your Hallelujah. favor restored. Your hope restored. Your joy restored. Your marriage restored. Your favors restored. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We go into our day empowered. Yes, Lord. We go into our day rejoicing, mm, God, knowing God, God, God. that what we didn't understand before is as clear, mm. and the Lord has made it clear. And I pray that everyone under the sound of our voice, in one way or the other, whatever be the package of heaven that you couldn't understand, the Lord is making it clearer in for you. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you shall maintain your spiritual momentum, and in the name of Jesus, everything that has to do with you, the work of your hands, your marriage, your family, we ask for the intervention of heaven, receive the peace of God, receive instruction, receive wisdom. Mm. In the name of Jesus, you proceed into your day. Empowered with Bless. the word of God. Go and conquer and be triumphant in the name of Jesus. Have a beautiful day. Today is the last day in the month of March. Everything belonging to the month of March yes. that has not come into your they hands, we are hands. declaring that they are commanded to locate you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Father, we thank you. The thank coming you. month shall be blessed. Bless. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God, bless you. God bless you. And see you next month. Yes. That is tomorrow. Remember, Hallelujah. God is working for you. Things oh, yes. will work out. Nothing God bless you. Work against you. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Everything will work out. Glory to Jesus. Hey. Hallelujah. Anna Dwala Kosh, Edi Bara, Sabra Diandus. We bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Father.